Climate change makes our ocean waters warmer. An invasive species, the green crab, is flourishing off the coast of New England. It could threaten other species, but two fishermen and a famous chef think they found a solution. Meteorologist Jacob Wyckoff shows us what it is in tonight's Eye on Earth. This one is freshly molted. It's got kind of a vibrant color to it. Turning an invasive species into a restaurant appetizer. The hunt for green crab starts in York, Maine. And we head to a tidal estuary near Brave Boat Harbor. Renowned chef Jeremy Sewell is along for the ride. His nephew, fisherman Sam Sewell, and fisherman Mike Massey lead the way. We're gonna haul up our first crab trap of the day. Green crabs are not native to New England and can wreak havoc on the ecosystem. Once they come into a new area that's suitable for them, they can absolutely explode. We haven't been having those freezing cold winters anymore, and so there's nothing really to keep their population in check. The troublesome creatures are not a new problem. They were first introduced to North America in the 1800s, likely hitching a ride in the ballast water of European merchant ships. Yet they continue to create issues, eating oysters, mussels, clams, and other crabs native to Maine, feasting on eelgrass and excavating parts of the marsh, which can lead to an increase in erosion. We've got tons and tons of freshly molted males. Catching the crabs just after they've shed their shell is one of the keys to this whole endeavor. In order to, to easily consume these, you want to have them and serve them up as a, a soft shell crab. But Sam and Mike are also selling them as bait when their shells harden back up. Another part of this whole equation Fishing these green crabs expands what fishermen can catch in Maine beyond lobsters. That's going to make me far and away the most diverse fisherman in the harbor. After pulling up a half dozen or so traps, our fishing is done for the day, and we head back to shore. Now it's time to taste test our catch with Chef Jeremy at his restaurant, Row 34 in Portsmouth, New Hampshire. So we've caught the crabs. What's the next step? So we're going to prepare these for our dish that we do here. We do a fried crab slider, but we use the whole crab. We just clean them up like you would kind of a traditional Maryland blue crab, but these are our local green crabs. If there's a source of pride for me, it's that my family catches it. Sam and Mike came to me and said, can you do something with soft shell green crab? So we'll give it a shot. You know, I, I think that these guys are trying to figure out a way to help the environment and create a market for a new seafood. The flavor of these crabs is comparable to most any crab. It's really delicious. Wow. We have our, our seasoned flour. It's kind of what we fry all of our fish in our crabs and buttermilk. Just toss them in that flour. We want to coat them really well. We want to kind of pack that right on. And then we're just going to fry them. So we're careful with them and all the legs and claws stay on. Necessity is the mother of invention. <laughs> yeah. So we had these crabs and we had to figure out what to do with them. Sure. The size they are, it's perfect to fit on our, uh, a sandwich. And there we go. You ready to try one? I think so. Okay, here's our green crab sliders. Wow, okay. You can see it's kind of fun. Legs sticking out, claws. You're eating the whole animal here. Make it a little bit easier to take that first bite. We'll cut it in half. All right. And then, yeah, you see everything. You see the pickle wow. jalapeno. You can really see the Yeah, you got the, the beautiful meat in there. Meat in there. Yeah. yeah, it's gorgeous. All right, so let me uh, dig in. Cheers. 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 That's really good. It's pretty good. I got to be honest. You see the legs hanging out the side. It, it's kind of weird, but it's delicious. Well, you know it's fresh because it was wiggling not long ago. <laughs> that is true. Both fishermen and Chef Jeremy say that diversity is the key to the future of fishing. This green crab experiment may be just the beginning. In Portsmouth, I'm meteorologist Jacob Wyckoff, WBZ News. <laughs> okay. A solution that I think would go over really well with people who love like soft shell crab. You know what? The crabs were eating everything, right? Yeah. Now we're eating them. Exactly. Right. That's, back that's what the food chain is. I got to say, it made me laugh when uh, Jeremy said, uh, yeah, that was crawling a short time ago. And, and uh, immediately Jacob went. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> but he liked it. Love that restaurant. Too. And a great solution. Oh, yes. One of our favorites.